Hey Clashers, I'm community manager Darian. And I am game designer Anum. And we are here with part one of two dev update videos. This one, we're gonna be covering some of the updates that are coming in the next content release. And our part two is gonna be the Legend League rework. Exactly, what we've been calling Operation Blue Skies. And since that one needs to stand on its own, we're gonna be covering the technical details of that in a separate video. But for now, let's go over the Builder Hall 9 update and what can players expect to see in this content release. Well, as you said it, they can expect Builder Hall 9. In this <gasps> so what's in Builder Hall 9? A new troop. Yep. and a new building, yes. and a couple of unique twists that we've decided to throw into this one. Yep. So if you remember two years ago when we released Builder Hall, we had that cool cinematic of all the troops jumping onto the boat, traveling across the sea. Who was missing after all that concluded? Well, the barbarian ran into the ocean. Yeah, he's not so smart. Yeah, no. Uh, but the hog rider didn't come back either. Exactly. So we've been wondering what do we want to do with him, and we've decided to make him into a new troop for Builder Hall 9. We don't know where the glider came from, but he's a flying troop. He will head for defenses. When he hits defense, the defense will get stunned for a while. And then the hog rider will jump off and become a normal hog rider. But if he takes damage before he reaches defense, he will automatically drop from the glider and act as a normal hog rider. So if you notice the kind of pun there, hog glider. Yeah, no, yeah does, I think does, it's obvious. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. Then no, does he yell, hog glider? Let's see, leave that for the update. <laughs> So we also have a new defense. Yeah, the new defense is called Lava Launcher. It's a very long range defense. Hurls slobs of molten rock. Right. And uh, it sets on ground on the fire. So it, it's a patch of damage, or as you call it, damage over time, that as troops run over it, they will take damage for a certain determined length of time. That's the new troop and the new defense. But we've been thinking about what can we do with Builder Hall 9. And one of the things we wanted to talk about is how the master builder, he's kind of developed a sense of wanderlust. Like he wants to travel the world, doesn't he? Yeah, but there's, there's this obvious problem where he's the own builder in Builder Base. Right. So he's actually working on something to alleviate the situation. With it. So we have a new building called the Otto Hut. You unlock it when you get to build a whole nine. You have to level it up before you unlock Otto, mm -hmm. the master builder's latest invention. You do that by completing some requirements. So the upgrade system is a bit uh, different from what we've seen before. You don't use resources, but you use prerequisites. So a certain number of, I guess, quests have to be fulfilled. Sort of, yes. And it includes upgrading some of the things that you've already earned to the max level. Right. And once you unlock Otto, he will become a second builder in Builder Base. So you'll have two builders. Master Builder can then travel to the home village. And if you want, you can move him there to become the sixth builder if you have five builders already. And uh, if you later want to move him back, you can do that as well. So the, he is the laziest of them all. Uh, so he can be moved as long as you have one builder fee. So he's all the last builder to get, uh, get to work. So another thing that we're adding to this update is a brand new training mode for the main village. So how does that work? So we added a practice mode into the main attack menu. Once you uh, tap on the attack button, you'll see three options instead of two. So in addition to the multiplayer and goblin map, you actually have a practice mode. And what's in there are levels for each town hall level that uh, will teach you how to do different attack strategies and troop compositions for different levels. And all these troops are already pre-made, so you don't need to spend any resources to make them. Um, and there's two different modes to do the practice mode. Yeah, so we have uh, like a practice mode, which basically holds your hand and walks you through an attack strategy with exact deployment timings, locations, all that jazz. And then we have a free mode where you can just take the army that we give you and do whatever you want. So the idea behind this is that when you unlock a brand new troop when you upgrade town hall levels, and you're unfamiliar with how to use that troop, this is the perfect opportunity to practice doing those new attack strategies, even see how some of the heroes might respond under certain situations. Yeah. So the final topic that we want to touch upon in this update video are some upcoming content for the main village. So we've got, what, new troop levels for town hall 12? Yes. New hero levels for town hall 12? New building levels for Town Hall 12? Yes. And some new spell levels for Town Hall 11 and 12, with a couple spell reworks. Yes. The spell reworks mm -hmm. are Earthquake spell. Now when you level it up, you get a bigger radius. And then the other rework is a Skeleton spell. The little skeletons spawn from it have armor, so they are a bit more durable. So you have to remove the armor before you can kill the skeleton underneath. Right, right. On top of that, we're introducing a brand new magic item. Lab potion. Exactly. And it speeds up your lab by what, 10x? Yes. For up to an hour. Yes. That's something that the community's been asking for for a long time, and it's something that we're finally adding to the game. Yeah. 
We have a new some new challenge types into the season challenges. Yep. And then finally, final Ooh, this final. Is a good one. This is a good one. We are enabling layout sharing through a deep link. Yep. So if you're a content creator, if you just want people to use your layouts, you can now generate a link from a village layout and then share it to anyone you want. So this is great for those who host websites showing base layouts, where before, you know, it was such a manual process to do that. So we've kind of helped automate that and streamline a little bit to make it easier for people to share their layouts. This still like applies to other use cases as well. So if you just want your friend to have your layout, he's not in the same plan, you can now just share a link and they will be able to download that layout. All right, Clashers, so that's all we have for this part one of two for the June update dev videos. So make sure you stay tuned for the next one where we talk about the Legend League rework. So until then, see you next time, guys.